call. It being meeting. five o'clock, I'd like to call the meeting to order. Agenda review and disposition. Madam Chair, I, I will need the non-public session for a resignation and one co-curricular nomination. All right. We have three sets of minutes to approve, April 4th, both the public and non-public, and March 21st, the non-public. Any corrections or amendments to those minutes? Move they be approved. Okay. All right. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Stand approved. Mr. Halloran. Um, all of my reports are contained within the committee reports, Madam Chair. And I, and I would note that um, we had sealed the minutes from uh, the March 21st. And th those minutes are now were just approved along with the attachment, which would have been faculty nominations. <coughs> Mr. Parsons. Thank you, Madam Chair. I think our student representative is next door. Uh, tonight we're hosting the math team and the quiz bowl who were uh, state champs, and so they're having their, their dinner as we speak. Uh, so. Congratulations to them. Uh, I have some reports that also got coming out of committee, but uh, I do want to let the board know uh, tonight is the opening night for the One Act, uh, starting at 7 o'clock. There'll be performances tonight and tomorrow uh, in the lecture hall. And I also want to report out, uh, you know, last Thursday, uh, the Art Department at Plymouth Regional High School hosted Convergence, um, and uh, the proceeds went to the Circle Program and Katie and uh, they raised close to $7,000 from student work, and it was all student uh, run. Uh, kudos to the uh, uh, students of Plymouth Regional High School who participated in that, and especially to Lynn Sanborn and the Mary Boyle uh, in the art department. Uh, also, uh, well, in the program and staffing, probably to report out when Mr. Halloran does the SAT testing that we did, he'll talk about uh, the senior seminar and how I uh, took care of <coughs> Uh, that issue with the regarding with the seniors when we were testing throughout the whole building. Thank you, Madam Chair. All right. Plus, there's questions for me. Oh. Committee progress reports. Um, I will do facilities. Call the meeting to order for nominations for chair and vice chair of the committee, Mr. Beachman seconded by Mrs. Sullivan, nominated Mrs. Johnston as chair and Mr. Joyce as vice chair. Vote was unanimous. Minutes of March 20th, stand approved as written. Mr. Halloran confirmed that the Warren article passed and now there is an amendment to House Bill 329 that is being decided. Once this has been decided, the school board will need to hold a public hearing to ratify the voti voting results. Mr. Clary reported that the high school was approved for the 75% state funding of $5.3 million as requested. Rochester was not approved. Mr. Clary has been busy taking input from all of the craft committees for each CTE program. These committees consist of local merchants, CTE teachers, a student, Mr. Clary, Mr. Francis, and Chris Solomon, the architect. Mr. Cleary, Mr. Solomon, and Mr. Francis have also met with each of the CTE teachers and their advisors, advisories to renew articulation agreements with post-secondary schools for receiving credits. Bruce commended Mr. Cleary and the CTE teachers for all their hard work. Mr. Halloran reported that the sports teams are on the fields, the upper parking lots need to be graded, and Mr. Francis will be shutting off the wood-burning system at the end of the week. Mr. Halloran also reported that for the district, the following prices have been locked in. Oil at $1.86 a gallon, propane at $1.21 a gallon, and electricity at 7.217 cents per kilowatt. And these prices are locked in for four years. Other business, Mr. Parsons reported that last Thursday, as he just said, so I will not repeat that. Um, May 10th, the senior citizens whose photos were taken by our art students will be hosted by our... Oh, the senior citizens who have their photos around in the lobby area mm -hmm. will be coming in May 10th and the culinary art students are going to fix them lunch and... 
the seniors will be telling stories? I think that that was what Mr. Parsons had said they were going to be. Yes. Relaying yes. Stories. The, uh, the the stories that were the autobiographies that were related to our seniors by the seniors will um, will be will be articulated at that meeting. All right. Thank you. Next meeting is May 16th at 5 o'clock. Motion by Mrs. Noyes, seconded by Mr. Ross to adjourn. Any questions? And we move on to policy and budget. Uh, yes, we met following the facilities committee. Uh, Mrs. Hahn uh, asked for nominations for uh, chair and vice chair. Motion was made by Mrs. Ebner, seconded by Mrs. Solomon, to nominate Mr. Leachman as chair, Mr. Fenton as vice chair, but was unanimous. Uh, the minutes of uh, March 20th, 2017, uh, stand approved as written. Uh, Mr. Hallen brought up the matter of uh, prices for school lunch. Uh, the purveyor has uh, asked for an increase at the high school from $2.50 to $2.60. Uh, the committee recommends the full board uh, approval of this increase. I'm sorry. The committee is bringing forth a motion to approve a price increase from $2.50 to $2.60 for school lunches. All right. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? And abstaining. Thank you. Uh, we ne next discussed revenues. Um, current. Uh, State, uh, which is of course uh, still early uh, in the year, uh, the revenues are coming in quite well. Um, not anticipating any uh, major surprises. Some of them will be off uh, because of the delay in getting and receiving the funds. Uh, but uh, overall, uh, the revenues stand uh, in good shape. Uh, the appropriations, uh, again, we still have um, two months left. Um, and so some of those are yet to uh, flesh out entirely, but at the moment our, our appropriations is in pretty good shape, but subject to um, a look for special ed, and it's just special ed mm -hmm. is a major question in front of us. Um, utility costs have already been discussed, handbook updates, uh, we'll uh, review the updates, um, proposed updates. That uh, our next meeting, um, Mrs. Ebner discussed revising the drug and alcohol policy that was written 25 years ago, Mike? Pretty close to it. <laughs> Maybe, oh, more than that, 30 <laughs> plus years ago. Um, and so we uh, are going to bring that up at next month's meeting. Um, Mrs. Hahn reported that she had heard from the uh, teachers' union uh, regarding the three committees that we need to uh, form. Uh, one uh, regarding scheduling, one regarding insurance, and one regarding evaluations, um, and is asking for volunteers to participate in each of those committees. Um, Mr. Deachman and Mr. Brickley uh, and Mrs. Sullivan volunteer to be on the board members for the insurance committee. Um, it was very nice of you, Sam, to do that. Thank you. Um, if there's no other business, motion made by Mr. Pettengill, second by Mr. Sullivan to adjourn the meeting at 5 to 5 5. The vote was unanimous. And, oh yes. You, are all the committees filled now? No, I do need some more. Is it appropriate to? The chair has. I need two more on evaluation and one more on scheduling. I'll do eval. Eval, thank you. you Did you get me for eval yesterday, Tim? Yes. So if anyone else is interested, do let me know, please. Um, I guess I will do program and staffing as the chair and vice chair aren't here again. Again, the meeting asking for, asking for nominations for committee chair and vice chair. Mrs. Sullivan, seconded by Mrs. Noyes, nominated Mrs. Ebner as chair and Mrs. Ash as vice chair. Vote was unanimous. Minutes of March 20th, stand approved as written. Support staff nominations will be done at the May meeting. Mr. Parsons reported that the seniors really enjoyed the workshops presented to them at Waterville Valley. Kudos to Denise McGlone for setting it all up. 
testing for grades 9, 10, and 11 went very well. He commended Mr. Price and Mr. Mars Austin on the tremendous amount of work that went into setting the testing up. Mr. Parsons indicated that he would like the seniors to do a similar day next year as well and may combine it with the senior class trip activity. Mr. Parsons also reported on the results of the board's request to review graduation caps and gowns. Mr. Parsons conferred with the senior class advisors who then conferred with their classmates and after a couple meetings of explanations and seeking feedback, the class voted on whether to keep the graduation gowns as is, white for girls, blue for boys, seating girls on left, boys on the right, or go with a unified look where everyone wears the same cap and gown, students seated alphabetically. The vote was split equally on both sides, but majority of students wanted to be seated alphabetically. Mr. Parsons then made the decision to go with everyone wearing blue caps and blue gowns with white trim on the bottom of the sleeves and the students will be seated alphabetically. Non-public session was not needed. Meeting adjourned at 625. Any questions on that? Anything to report from SCC, Barbara? No, we meet coming up May 1st. Discussion items? I don't any have any business. business. And I'm assuming the students are here for civics, civics class. Madam Chair. All right. Do I hear a motion to go in the non public for personnel? So. Seconded. So we'll take Barbara and Phil.